and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge, where in today's episode we are going to uh, hopefully defeat Misty, the Cerulean City Gym Leader, if we can uh, find her, I suppose that's the other uh, big if we're going to move Rutana out to the front here, because Rutana, despite being just the team defender, the team guardian is somehow the lowest level. And if I understand things correctly, Miss Misty is way up here at the end of the, the Cerulean City uh, for Maybe you're supposed to have to go fight these guys after you go save the power plant. Oh, we don't have, I don't know what that item is. Um, but I think she should be up here, right? Maybe? Maybe not. Nope, don't have it. Okay, where are you, Misty? Aha! There you are. Way over here. Well, who was that guy? Mm-hmm. Oh, why'd you have to show up and bug us now? Did you know they call people like you? Pests! You heard me right. Pests! Oh, those badges. Are you... Are they the Johto Gym badges? If you have eight, you must be good. Okay, then come to the... What, is she like on a date right now? Is that what's happening right now? Who was that dude? Who was that guy? What? Oh man, she's taking the long way back. Does she even know about this? It's like she doesn't even run this town or something. Anyway, come on, Rutana. We don't need this nonsense. Where where are we? Man, what a long walk. All right. Let's see here. Uh, I guess we're going to go ahead and surf through. I'm going to fight these guys because all the extra experience is always good, right? Oh, or not? Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, sorry about being away. Uh, let's get on with it. Uh, you guys seem so excited. All the gym leaders here are just like, I guess this is something we should do. Like, never mind. Oh, Ludicolo. Well, well, well. I'm not that concerned, but we are going to U-turn, I guess, right? Yeah, because that will do damage to the uh, grass part of it. Oh, man, it's totally getting wrecked. And we're going to bring in Kimberly for the Wimberly. Astonish. <laughs> I did it astonishingly little. We dragon claw. We kill. Sorry, sombrero, duck, pineapple shaped dead thing. Wait, can I not fight these guys? Can you really have to like go out of your way to fight the trainers here? Like you very much don't have to, but we're gonna. We're gonna make sure all of their pineapple sombrero ducks are dead. Wigglytuff, or whatever this thing is, a Tigglywuff, or, you know, we used to, we had a Wigglytuff last time. Um, let's see how the Psychic does. Pretty so oh! oh, with the crit! Rutana crushing people today! What? And Gillen, sponging that experience. All right, well, that was lovely. All right, we're gonna go here. Oh, there's someone over there, so you can't just walk completely around the pool. You have to at least fight the sailor over there. All right, well, I'm gonna fight him anyway. A pure ugly? Ugh, gross. What do we name ours? Whispers? Whispers the glammy owl might. I mean, I say that. I feel like pure ugly and scud take were always sort of like grouped together as like a, like a, you know, may maybe, maybe there is a love to be found with Whispers the glammy owl. But is this thing even part dark? It might be. If that's the case, perhaps we should go ahead and switch. I don't know. It might just be straight normal, but might not. Uh, let's go to... Let's go big plant. Slash, our least favorite move in the game, except now we have it on the team with Gillen. Let's hit this thing with the old dragon claw. A body slam. My goodness me. It's a speedy ugly cat. Oh, 50. Rutana, 49. Gill into 40! Man, what a what an experience pool that was. And a hair across. Alright, so if I had to guess, I'm thinking this thing is gonna go for a close combat because it seems to be the order of the day. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Kimberly because then we will resist the fighting, we will throw an intimidate, and we can hit it with fly. Right? Reversal! Frank did nothing. Now we fly high. We rain death from the sky because we have double dragons and this thing is so dead. See you later, Heracross. Watch that HP bar go down gloriously glorious. Dead! Boom dead Drac, am I right? 
Everyone getting the EXP. All right, let's go over here and talk to this guy. What's your beef, man? I've been relaxing poolside, so I've got enough strength. All right, if you say so, man. Star after. Oh, man, that is a dangerous foe indeed. Could very much have like a close combat, although if it does, we resist that. So I think we're okay to just hit this thing with a psychic. It is very physically strong. But we are psychically strong, and we are, man, Rutana is wrecking stuff today, man. Came to play, that was it, that's all that guy had. I mean, Star After, very strong Pokemon. Uh, but man, that guy, that guy had absolutely nothing for us. All right, look at, well done, Rutana. Oh, there's a sailor over here, but I didn't do that. Glob, 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 I'm first, come get me. You're not first, man, you're like the last one. I thought, another Wigglytuff. Man, just take this one down too. Take this one down too. Rutana is raining death from all over today. Boom, dead, ha, oh, and a Beautifly. So I suppose this actually has some amount of uh, effectiveness against us. We're just gonna U-turn out, do a little bit of damage. We're gonna come back. We're gonna, I mean, I honestly think Gillen could take this Beautifly. But we're gonna bring in Ice, because Ice is not yet at level 50, and I want Ice to get there. We did a lot of training with Ice in the last episode. We're just gonna send this butterfly back to the volcano from whence it came, return it to Ash with our lava, and there you go. Just like that. And then we're gonna go heal now that we are, uh, all we have left is Misty at the gym. So we're gonna heal. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And then, I mean, we I feel like we're just gonna leave Rutana out front. I know it's probably smarter to lead with Kimberly for the Wimberly, but Rutana has just been wrecking right now. Um, and we can always switch to Kimberly. It's, uh, it's not even bad to switch to Kimberly because we can throw the Intimidate and Rutana can u turn out, which means we can do damage on the out. So there's that. I think we're just gonna do, I think that's how we're gonna do it. That's how we're gonna do it. All right, bring it on, Misty. You have nothing on Big Rutana here. All right, I think Misty does have four Pokemon. Um. <laughs> what? Oh man, will she still have water types? She still has the Ludicolo. Well, 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 uh, here's what we're gonna do. We already know what to do. We have yet another Sombrero Pineapple Duck to destroy and we're just gonna U-turn out on it because this is exactly what we did earlier in the gym. We're gonna do that. We're gonna bring in Kimberly for the Wimberly. We're gonna intimidate it. It does nothing. Yeah, Growl. Well, Growl's not nothing. It does lower our attack, but I think we can just Dragon Claw it, honestly. I don't even know if we need to use Fly. Ludicolo down. Nice. All right, what else has she got for us? Gillen, getting the XP there, love it. Oh, a Blastoise. So she does have two water Pokemon thus far. She's not messing around. All right. Um. It probably, I would bet it has protect, but let's fly anyway and you see, let's see what it's got. Iron defense, ooh, pretty solid. That is such a misty move right there. Tucked in its head, defense rose. Wow, so it's got three defense buffs right now. Um, it's gonna try and skull bash. It's gonna miss, cause we're gonna fly. Uh, so that's good. But as you can see, we're not doing, oh, we used Rain Dance, okay. Okay, we do resist water, but the, the Rain Dance is gonna boost its water type attack. Um, so let's see, Fly is not doing a ton of damage. Of course, it has plus three defense right now and nothing lower on the attack. So, it, so what does it have, Rain Dance, Skull Bash, something else and something else. Um, oh, an Iron Defense. So it's one other attack we haven't seen, which I'm betting is Hydro Pump. Had to guess. Oh, man, I don't want to keep using. And she's gonna have the full restore. Uh, this is uh, this is a bulky Blastoise, y'all. Let's see. Um, I mean, we can just. Is there anyone who would be better suited to fighting this? Definitely not Ice or Gillen. Ace can certainly sit there and take it. Rutana could hit it with pers this. Ace. Ace might be good just because we can hit it for special attack damage. Same for Rutana. Um, yeah, 
But Plant and Kimberly will both resist the water attacks at the moment. So we're just gonna, let's see how a Dragon Claw does. Okay, tuck its head in. Defense rises again. We can continue to dodge the attacks though with Fly if she's gonna try and Skull Bash us. Now to be curious to see what she does. Going for it again. So what if we go, if we fly? Yeah, now it goes for the Skull Bash and it misses. Citrus Berry, gosh, it's got so much health. Ugh. That's the problem here. Can we lower its defense with Crunch? I think that's a thing. Aqua Tail, ugh, Aqua Tail, our hated attack we really don't like. I hate an attack we really don't like. That was a good sentence right there. Okay, of course Misty has a blast on it. How fitting. Um, it's not like... It's mostly a matter of... The damage. Like, are, is it going to stall us out? On, no, we've got 11 more flies. Almost guaranteed she's going to... Um, gosh. Do we have any, like... We do have an X attack. I guess we could try that. To try to just boost our attack up some, but it only covers a little bit. Let's go for it, because I think she's going to line up for another Skull Bash here. Yeah, told you. All right, now we fly. Misses, we fly. It did not do that much more damage. Goodness me. Okay. Let's go for the Crunch, because so I think this lowers defense. Oh, the Aqua Tail. Oh, no! <gasps> Man, those Aqua Tails are starting to uh, add up on us, though. We're going to Hyper Potion here. Because it's not like she's not about to do the same thing, right? We know it. We know it to be true. I really want to lower its defense. God, those Aqua Tails are really starting to bother me. We're going to fly. Full Restore. Oh, man. Aqua Tail again. Oh gosh, Kimberly taking some damage. All right, we're gonna Hyper Potion. Those Aqua Tails are just adding up. Not effective, okay. Well see, now I don't want to have like completely wasted our, I wonder if it's used all of its Skull Bashes. Um, let's just keep flying and making it waste its attacks because we, it'll waste. Oh no, now it's gonna hit us with it. go for another crunch. Aqua Tail, man. Its defenses are just too high. Well, I don't like it. Not one bit. We're going to heal again here because it's... Man, we are like stuck in this little like... It's, it's using rain dance. Okay. That's part of why it's doing so much damage. It's because of the rain dance. Um, I don't... I mean... I feel like if we go to Ace here, we can at least... Let's continue to just stall it out, right? Tucked its head in. Okay, no big deal. Now we just fly. It's gonna stall us out. That's what's about to happen. Well, we can just continue to dodge these attacks though, no problem. If she wants to keep using Skull Bash, then we'll just keep using Fly. That's all we gotta do. She's running out of attacks too. Okay. Bring it on, man. We got three more of these. Now the question is, will she use... I think we got it. Oh, no! The fence won't go any higher. Okay. Let's go Dragon Claw. Woo! I think we must have run out the Skull Bashes there. Woo! Killing her to 41. Yes. Well done, Kimberly. x Scissor. Now we're talking. Forget a move. Yeah. Fury Cutter, you're gone. Forget. Don't care. X scissor in the house. X scissor on scissor. Yes. Yes. Magic Rose. Oh. <laughs> Misty with the uh, the Blastoise and the Ludicolo and now the Metagross. My goodness me. Uh, those are dangerous Pokemon to be certain. Uh, I think we could bring in Ice though. Psychic. Uh oh. You got this. 
Ice, you got this? Yeah, you got it. Oh, and we heal. Okay, so we should be able to lava plume this thing pretty solidly. Uh, ice is really fast too, so Ice can just wreck this thing. Oh, agility, and yeah, you're trying to match our speed? I'd be afraid too. Uh, let's just go for the straight up, let's just go. I don't know if we'll still be faster since it's used agility, but I don't I don't think it's gonna have a goal. I'm not gonna say that, that's out. I'm just gonna go lava flow. I used the full restore. Oh, I was thinking about going faint attack. Oh, a bird! Is it gonna kill? Yes, the bird! Oh, ice turns up the heat. What? Of course, of course. Ice in it to win it. And a big muck. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I think Confuse Ray. Hurt itself in its confusion and we heal. Then we go for the burn with Lava Flow. Buck is confused, Sludge Bomb. What the, whoa! Okay, well now we're gonna switch because I don't need that kind of, uh, I don't need that in my life. We're gonna go to Let's go to Plant. Plant hasn't had any action this fight. Sludge Bomb, nothing there. We heal, now we dig. Yeah, okay, this thing is so screwed. Sludge Bomb, okay, it's out of the confusion, but we heal underground, we come up with a dig, and Plant for the victory! Yes! Well done, Plant. Thought you could beat us with your big Blastoise. What a good, like, I mean, I would say the Blastoise was much more of her ace than like the Muck or something, but. Man, that Blastoise, that had some high defense. I'll admit that you are skilled. Here you go, it's a Cascade match. Da 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 da. Ba, ba. But we can't do it on Skate and TMO3. This is Water Pulse normally. Yeah. They can sometimes confuse your foe. You manage to defeat trainers all the way from Johto. I'm sure you have good use for it. I sure probably do. Probably. Probably. Let's see. Where do we go now is the question, right? Can we go through Mount Moon in reverse and get to, uh, let's see. Yeah, can we exit the, oh, root five, uh, no. Okay, we've already been here. We've been here. Oh, a Snorlax, that's interesting. It's like, this isn't a new encounter. We caught a lantern, that's who we caught here. Let's get out of that grass. Can we exit the town? Left, we can. Route four, okay, so there's actually a new route. Uh, well, we can, we can catch something here anyway. And it's a Whizmer, so that's fairly boring, huh? Pokeballs, quick ball, let's go. Come on, don't even, I don't think, let's just, yep. Two, three, of course. Excellent. And we all know what your name is. Walt! Walt the Wismer! All right, well, it looks like we can, we cannot actually go that way. That was a, an easy catch anyway. Let's go ahead and heal, I think, from the fight. Did I already do this? Or am I? Okay, so where do we go from here then? Um, who do we still need to fight? Blue, Brock, and Blaine. So I guess, is Brock the last one we'll fight? Or can we go back to um, Vermilion City? Can we go through Diglett's, oh no, man. This grass. That was almost duplicate claws in, claws in there, huh? Oh wait, we can just do this now. We can go to Vermilion City, right? Maybe? Aha! What do you want? Just a fight? What? The Rage Candy Bar. Uh, okay. What is this guy saying? What is happening down here? I'm feeling, thank you for your candy. Did we just give a stranger candy? What is happening? Kab 
What? What is happening? Tick-tock, 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 kaboom. Oh no, please don't make me read it again. That was the weirdest thing that's ever happened in this game ever. I don't know why they put that in the game. That was just creepy. And we're going to, oops. We're back to Vermilion City. So the question is, can you go through Diglett's cave? Because if you can, or if you can't, um, I think, mm, no, I think I know what we need to do. We need to go back to Fuchsia City because I'm pretty sure we need to get, we have to move the Snorlax, right? I mean, I guess we could go to Fuchsia City and surf down this way, right? To get to Blaine. Or you can go, I guess we could do that, right? Do we have to fight? Otherwise we can, I think you can move the Snorlax, but you have to do something weird with like a radio tower and like moving it. And that involves going to Lavender Town, covered in a beautiful hue of purple. What is that supposed <laughs> Bades in orange. I love how, yeah, they're like describing the colors for you now. Let's see. Can we just, can, maybe we can just go fight Blaine next. Maybe we'll just fly down that way. Maybe we'll head towards Cinnabar, you know, why not? Let's see, what's down here? Oh, maybe not though. This road is, uh-huh. Oh, you have to go from, mm hmm Okay, in that case, we'll head towards Lavender Town, right? That seems to be the only, the next stop. Unless, do I have to go this way? Can I go? I'm just thinking out loud here. Can I fly, can we go to Celadon? Because can't you normally take like an underground path from Celadon there as well. That might just be faster. Right here? Yeah. Oh, that's Saffron. Never mind. What we want to do is go this way. It won't open. It's locked. But then can we just go through the other ex the other side of this town to get to Lavender? Route 8. New route? New route? Fantastic. I guess we'll go fight these guys real quick. Yeah, we're the Kanto Pokemon Federation Trainer Group. We'll drive you under our wheels. All right, whatever, man. Do whatever you gotta do. Ludicolo, what is with the Ludicolos today? U-turn, dead turn. We, this is just, this is like pineapple sombrero duck attack day. And we're gonna bring in, we're gonna bring in ice. Get to level 50, ice, you can do it. Oh, I'm a cargo. All right, well, now we're just going to switch, though. We're going to go to plant. You got it, buddy. Amnesia. How about dig? I bet you don't forget uh, how bad that hurt. Answer real bad. Machamp. Okay. You say so. Um, we're going to go to Kimberly for the Wimberly. We're going to throw the Intimidate. Submission. We resist. It does nothing. It hurts itself. It is an embarrassment to everything... Machamp is dead. See ya. This guy has so many Pokemon. Uh, fly, I guess. We fly high. We rained after him, this guy. Oh, it didn't. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay. I don't like the way that transpired, so we're just going to switch. Doesn't affect plant. That's right. You got nothing, Ampharos. Like, dead Pharos. This guy has so many Pokemon. Wow. Okay. Well, anyway, we're going to heal up on uh, Kimberly there for the Wimberly because she's getting nice and paralyzed. That's not good at all. What's happening? Oh, no. We've had a Dialga game glitch. Uh, hold on. Save real quick. We're going to have to restart. Hold on. Hold, please. And we're back. We attack. The cop shut down an underground path. That really annoys me. What, why? Probably because there was strange people in the underground paths taking candy from strangers. This game is very backwards all of a sudden. Um, I want to say this thing could have X scissor, which would be really bad. So I'm going to U-turn out on it. You use protect. All right, good for you. I'm going to U-turn out on it. And it has hyper cutter. So it will resist the intimidate. But nonetheless, 
We let's go to Ace actually. Why not? Stomp. How dare you? Um, let's go Dragon Pulse on this thing. Yeah, well done, Ace. Ace is in the level 50 yet either. F -f -f Forgive me. I, I mean, I don't know. You didn't really do anything wrong. It's just a regular trainer fight. If you were underground taking candy from strangers, I guess that's weird. That's on you though. Um, I'm only gonna switch this way because I don't want. Look, Gillen is like the appropriate level for some of these fights all of a sudden. Uh, I'm still gonna go to Kimberly just to, oh, I should've gone to, well, I should've gone to Ace here. Not Ace, sorry, um, Ice. Ace, Ice, you know. Kimberly flies down, wrecks that guy, amazing, well done, well done. Everyone's crushing it, and Nicola Fable. That Nicola Fable looks like it needs, like, a good night of sleep, doesn't it? Look at those little, like, eye wrinkles. It's like, I haven't slept in 12 years. <laughs> please, please, put me out of my misery. If you say so. Dragon Claw! Yeah, there you go. You're dead. And an item's on the ground. Torment. All right, if you say so. Um, let's see. I'm going to switch Gillen up front just to see. Just to see. Who's to say? If we need to switch, we'll switch. How does the magnet train work? I don't know, dude. You're, you're the super nerd. Don't ask me. 44 to 42? What do you think? We got this? We got this, Gillen? Let's go X Scizor on this thing. For like half a second, I was like, watch, of course. I don't And we're asleep. Come on. Come on. There it is. This is why <laughs> uh, Gillen had agility to avoid this sort of exact problem. Let's go slash on this thing. You missed, we slash, we kill. Oh, Star Raptor. Okay, so we are going to switch now because I don't want... Uh, it has flying and we're bug and we don't like that and I don't know if steel I mean no uh, no yeah this is a bad matchup so we're gonna go here to resist the fighting potential close combat take down all right hurt yourself if you must did it poison itself is it carrying toxic it must have that thing that uh that's really weird it has, it's holding a toxic orb. It must have some ability that allows it to um, do more damage by being, having a status effect. Not gonna matter, because we dragon clawed it to death. But that is scary that the game would utilize such a tactic. Uh, let's bring in, you know what? Why not? Let's let the God of Pokemon fight with Gillen. Little, you know, little confidence booster. Couple Mo and Lulu. Oh, oh, do you think Lulu has Lou Minion? I think so. I like to think the game did that on purpose. They were like, oh, oh let's randomize some fun. Okay. Um, let's go X scissor on the Lu on the Luminion. And let's go Hyper Voice on both of them. Wonderful. Maybe we'll just knock them both out with Hyper Voice and it won't even be a problem. Let's get a free kill here. Just about Whirlpool. They're trying to take down. Yeah, Luminion down. Great. Oh, you disabled Hyper Voice. You tried to disable. We're gonna X's or you. And no need to worry, we'll just Dragon Pulse you. Yeah, take that, Wigglypuff. Wigglytuff, sorry. Yeah, you're dead. And an easy victory for the obvious combo of God and Praying Mantis. Hmm, you got many gym badges. Yes, I do. Unknown! Uh... It's psychic type, right? This should just totally destroy it. Yeah, thought so. I thought so. Not that unknowns. Apache Risu. Okay, I don't like this one as much. Gosh, in my mind, is Steel weak to Electric? I feel like it is, or I feel like I am often like, "Ooh, Steel, let me hit it with Electric." I don't know if that makes sense. Nonetheless, easy switch to Plant. Sweet Kiss. What does that do? Oh, we're confused. Okay, well, great. 
Uh, Dragon Claw? I don't think it's going to be able to do much damage. Oh, Super Fang! What the what? Oh, no. This thing is... I don't think I can kill... I mean, Super Fang... I... Super Fang, in case you're wondering and you don't know, does 50% of your remaining HP, so it cannot kill you. But it is, um, I've only seen three of its attacks so far, and I don't want it to have some, uh, look at that, stop it! <laughs> Just Dragon Claw, just kill it! Ugh. I didn't want it to like have some sneak attack that was gonna like knock us out there, that would have been really bad. Look at that Vespa Quinn, it is, it is dangerous. It is like aggressive. Slash, and it's using Slash, of course it is. We just crunch it to death. We chew it up, we spit it out, we win. Oh, this guy. I am but a gentleman stopped on the road. Would you care to join me in a quick contest? Well, all right. Oh! All right. Sandstream whipped up a sandstorm! Well, well, well. Um, Metal Claw should be good against we should be, this would be a pretty good matchup, right? Because Metal Claw is good against Rock. Let's go. Let's go. Payback. Mm, I don't like that. Not very effective. Sandstorm rages. We benefit from the sand as much as anything. Um, boy, it's making me nervous that we've got such... Okay, we did fine against this last time, unless it's like based on its remaining HP. Seems to be okay, I think we've got it. I think we've got it. Full restore! Oh, with the crit! And now we should still be okay. <laughs> because of the crit. Because Gillen is like, eh, excuse me, full restore my, I don't think so. Look at that, yes, Gillen! Precision! That should be a level, right? 44, boom! 9,000! Boy, that guy was rich. That's probably how he had the money to afford that full restore. Am I right? Ooh, look at apricot. Apricorn. Apricot. Apricorn. A yul. Yulwa. A yulwa. All right, we made it here. Here up Gillen for me, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gosh, I don't want to be... All right. And now I think they have turned this into a radio tower. Your best love show's on air on the clock. <laughs> Boy, who made this? Canto radio station. All right. Well, I don't want to like say it was disrespectful or something, but it would appear they turned the cemetery into a radio station, which, mm, gotta say, not a good look. Hey there, I am the super music director. Uh, all right, thanks. Sorry, but you only know, tore the ground floor. If this Jodo's radio tower was taken over by a criminal gang, we have to step our security up. Ah, see, you're the J who solved the power plant problem. I tell you, a real lifesaver. Please take this. The EXPN card to Jay's Poker Gear. All right. With that thing, you can tune into even more radio programs here in Kanto. What was with the laugh? He was like, you can turn into even more radio programs here in Kanto. That <laughs> You guys read it, right? Help me, Square. Grab your music off the air. All right, I think that's all we needed, actually, though is that lone item. And now I think what we do is we go, whoops, if I am not mistaken, I remember this being a very weird thing. We're going, oh no, okay. Stop, cancel. We fly, I think we can just go back to Vermilion City. Although wait, no yeah, this is fine. Cause we need, we're trying to get to Future City. Obviously by going to Lavender Town, getting a radio card and flying to Vermilion City. It's a very direct route, dare I say. Um, are we on a new, oh, this is route 11, so we can actually catch whatever this is gonna be, but I think we have to go, no, wait, no. Poke gear? Radio? It's sneaky, isn't it? Yeah. Now we're playing the polka flute, right? The Snorlax opens its eyes. Yes. That's very sneaky that they do this. 
And you have to like go play around with the Boga gear. And it's a Kaboot! It's a level 50 Kaboot Tops. Oh my goodness. Uh, I think we can let... <laughs> okay, this is gonna be a harder fight than I thought. Uh, first of all, let's quick ball. Cause you never know. This can, this works. Okay, it didn't work. Mega Drain, okay, that's not gonna work. That's gonna be pretty terrible. Uh, instead, what we're gonna do though is for sure, I think we're gonna go ahead and, oh no, oh, it's, wait, wait, why would we do this? Oh, we're gonna at least lower its attack. Okay, we're gonna switch, oh God, the slash, it has slash, ooh, it's bad. I don't like that one bit. Um, no, I don't. Slash is of course quite good. It's very, um, man, it has rock type attacks. That's what we want to avoid. <laughs> And then, oh man, that could have been bad. That could have been bad. We at least we were to intimidate on it. We're gonna go to plant. Actually, slash. Aqua jet. That does nothing. We're just gonna heal that right off. Let's give it a crunch and see how that does. This Kabutops is insane. Oh, Mega Drain. Okay. Defense fell. Hey, remember when that didn't happen against the Blastoise? Give it the old Crunchzilla. Okay, now we're looking good. We heal up. We go bag. We go Pokeballs, we go Netball, because it's a water type. And we see if we can get this Kabutops. Man, this would be a pretty solid one. Two. Huh? I gotta say, Kabutops, very cool design. It looks like they were like, hey, Scyther's so cool. What if we gave yet another Pokemon Scyther arms, right? That's kind of what it looks like. Can you just see it? It's like, this is prehistoric Scyther, as far as you ask me. You compare that to a different Scyther Sprite, I guarantee you. I know there's one where it's just like spreading them like that. So, that's cool. Anyway, we need a name. Yeah, Ben, that's your cue. Hold on, we got a Kabutops. Oh, whoa, I like Kabutops. I like Kabutops. That's a cool one. It is a cool one, I agree. Lord Vanilla. <laughs> Vanilla. With a, with, a, with a short L there. Yeah. The Lord Vanilla. Long L to make, to, make, to make up the missing L. Exactly. Lord Vanilla. Lord Vanilla. Welcome. Man, that's a level 50 Kabutops as well. So that's pretty solid. Hold on. All right. So that was our uh, catch for this route, I guess. So we're just going to go into Diglett's Cave now, where I assume we will not be running into Diglett's. But we can make it to Pewter City nonetheless. But we can catch whatever this is. Bring it, whatever you are. A Rotom! <laughs> you don't say. You don't say. All right, Pokeballs. Let's go. Quick ball. This is very fun if we get it, which we didn't. Of course not. Uproar. That's surprising. Um, so let's see. Mm, this is going to be very tricky. Let's go to ice. Uproar. We're really just gonna have to, I don't know if it's gonna have any sort of like physical uproar. Is it gonna have any physical attacks that can uh, hurt us? I don't know. We can go to plant. This isn't gonna do much though. It just Oh, it did have Thundershock, but I don't think it's gonna have any physical attacks. So this is gonna be very tricky. What can we hit? What is our weakest attack? It's probably on Gillen, right? Summary. Um, check moves. Uh, X scissor is 80. Metal Claw is probably our weakest attack on team, right? This is going to be too strong. Slash won't affect it at all. Crunch would be too effective. I, obviously, you're way too strong. Shadow Ball U-turn. But it's part psychic, right? So that'll be, and it's not even. So if we're gonna hit it with anything, it has to basically be, oh man, this is tricky. The best case scenario would be that it burns itself and then it just takes tiny damage like that. But in the meantime, we probably just wanna, if it could burn itself, that'd be great. No, we wanna confuse you. Yeah. Now we're just gonna switch, I guess. Cut its attack, not that it has much. Oh my God, we are never gonna. This is the problem, we don't wanna cut its attack because then it does less damage to itself. No, what am I thinking? I did this problem last time. I've gotta find a, oh, maybe we could Dusk Ball it because we are in a cave. 
Ah, this is never going to happen. This is going to take forever. Okay. Double team. Oh, boy. Confuse it. Hurt itself in its confusion. Good. Hurt itself in its confusion. Good. Keep going. Keep hurting yourself. Oh, it's not that a confusion. I don't like it. And it confused us. We use confuse ray. I like it. Hurt itself in its confusion. Fantastic. We switch to plant so we can get unconfused ourselves. We use double team. I don't like that. We switch back to ice. We're going to smoke screen. Now it's. Ah, oh, come on. We confuse it. Fantastic. It confused it. Hurt itself. Smoke screen. Hit yourself. No, stop double teaming. I don't like that. Snapped out of confusion. That's bad because we're about to run out of. All right, now we only have. All we can do is. Oh, all right. That's no good. It is more damage than it was. Let's see. Come on. Come on. One, two, three. Oh, come on! Come on, let's go, Rotom. No! It can't hit us to get burned, and we don't... Oh, we got it! Yes! Oh, that's awesome. Okay, Rotom, pretty fun Pokemon, if you don't know. It can take on all sorts of weird forms. Electric Ghost! Yes! Unique motor indeed. Rotom Dex, not as cool as Porryphone, but whatever. Yes. All right, Ben, we need a nickname. This is a Rotom. What's a Rotom do? Well, it is, um, it's like an electric ghost. It's motor backwards. Uh, yeah. I thought you can like smell it from here. You can like smell the Rotom. That, burning, that yeah. burning motor smell. Right. You it's can like, like go talk to different appliances and change its shape. So it can be like lawnmower Rotom or like stove Rotom or washing machine Rotom. Have to use it. Yeah. I love this. Yeah, it's a fun Pokemon for sure. Okay, okay, okay. Um, well, let's see here. Okay, okay. I'm kind of liking the sound of Marcus. Marcus? M-A-R-K-U-S. From Marcus Taylor. Marcus Taylor. Is Marcus backwards fun? No, that's just suck ram. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that maybe doesn't work. That would have been cool if it did. <laughs> Marcus! Marcus the Rotom. Welcome to the box. That is like, I don't, does Rotom count as a legendary Pokemon? I don't know. It's definitely um, very cool Pokemon. Oh no, is this like much more of a uh, like cave in this game? Boy, look, we could have had Torkoal or Tentacool, you guys, or Togepi. Good thing we got Rotom because this could have been a lot less cool, I dare say. Are we route two? Please don't say we're stuck over here. A Carbos, okay. And can we get out? Oh no! We need, do, are you kidding me? Are we gonna need cut to get out of here? This is gonna be the most annoying thing that's ever happened to anyone. Probably not. And Alexa, do you have to have cut to get to freaking, that is, this is so annoying. Sacred Ash? Okay. That's pretty solid, I believe. What about you? Can't someone just have a PC? All right, Nugget. I guess that's good. Can someone please? Oh, why? Why must you have cut? This is so, okay, hold, hold. All right, we made it to Pewter City. And uh, thank you, Jade, as ever, for your services. Time to go back in the box. Let me get Gillen right on back out. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. Everything was, a, yeah, yeah, you know, it was great. Um, first things first, let's see if we can catch something on Route 2. What's lurking? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> it's a meta. <laughs> what the perfect, how, what a perfect Route 2 Pokemon too, right? Like, uh, let's go, quick ball. If this doesn't work, 
this is the best Metapod that's ever lived. Two. Oh my gosh, what are you serious? Just, just get in the ball, Metapod. It's fine. Are you serious? It's not being caught with an Ultra Ball. It's a level three Metapod. What is happening? Netball, go. Okay, we got the Metapod. Um, wow. Yeah. All right, Ben, we need a name. <laughs> pie. P-I-E. As, as in, as in, as what's in for it, dessert? A, it's a delicious hot pie. A delicious hot pie. 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 Arnie, I do not, I cannot tell you how little time I have to take your phone call. I cannot believe how long that phone's been ringing. Stop it. Stop calling me Arnie. I will not, Arnie. Arnie. I'm, I'm in a, I can't hear you, I'm in a tunnel. <laughs> oh my gosh, that guy. He was like determined to talk, wasn't he? Let's lead, let's just lead with Gillen. Oh, hold, Kimberly is taking damage, hold on. Let's go heal and then we will take on this gym. <clears throat> my goodness, who thinks we should just bring Pi on, right? If you think we should bring Pi on, leave your favorite emoji in the towel section down below. Leave your, leave a fruit of your favorite kind of pie as an emoji. So if you like apple pie, leave an apple emoji. That's what I'm sure I didn't need to explain how that was gonna work to you, but that's... Um, all right, let's see what this guy's got. The trainers of this gym use rock-type Pokemon. Rock-type Pokemon have high defenses. Well, we'll see if they use rock-type Pokemon. Because that looks an awful lot like a fire-type Pokemon, and I don't like that. Because fire-type is really good against Gillen. I am here to, I'm just gonna, oh, okay. Let's safeguard on me. Ember, how about dig burr? Oh, good, solid burn, self, way, well, way to go. All right, this has got to crash. <laughs> what was that supposed to be like? <laughs> like a rock fall or something? A glide score? Well, well, well. Last time we ran into one of these bad boys, it was a glad guard. You slash and it killed Megan. So, we have to be very careful. Um, nonetheless, we shall go to Kimberly. We sh Hypercutter, it tried to use guillotine. Oh, you sneaky, sneaky, terrible, sneaky, terrible sneak. Terrible. I don't think, I think guillotine has some weird thing where if you're a lower level, it cannot work. So, um, I don't think it can work on us. We're gonna dragon claw this thing, because I do not like it. It's trying to sword stance on us, I don't like that either. Um, we're gonna dragon claw again. I'm gonna take this thing down. It U-turns, it doesn't do anything though, because it's weak, and then we kill it. We kill it for sport. We're not over Megan. We're not over Megan! Yeah, dude. Take that. I bet Arnie was trying to call me to warn me about you. If I recall, he was a hiker as well. All right, are you ready? Are you ready? Gillen seems a bit nervous. Maybe you're not ready. Okay, glad we chatted. And for our right. In fact, we're just gonna heal again because you never know what Brock might have. Who's to say? Maybe he's got Dialga and Palkia. That would be terrifying. What if it was Brock all along? It was Barack all along. That doesn't really have the same catchy jingle to it, does it? All right, anyway, we Kimberly for the Winberly. An item back there? Am I gonna have to get Jade again to get that item? Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. But I saw you item, don't think I didn't. All right, bring it Brock. Two gym battles, one, one day, Brock and Misty. The most classic gym leaders there ever was. Wow, it's not often that we get a challenger from Johto. I'm Brock, the future gym leader. Now I'm an expert on rock type Pokemon. My Pokemon are impervious to most physical attacks. You'll have a hard time inflicting any damage. Come on! Well, I mean, we'll see what you've got. Misty still had a lot of water types, so let's see. Porygon Z! All right, you say so. Bring it, dude. Um, this thing shouldn't have much. Okay, so these things sometimes have things where like they change into the move they get hit by. So if we hit it with the dragon type move, we can then 
hit it again for a drag attack move. And the last time we fought it, he used lock on, so we might be able to switch to um, plant if it's going to try and use electric dev attacks on us. Embargo! Kimberly can't use items anymore. Not that concerned about it, but anyway, Dragon Claw for the win. Kimberly's so good. Azumarill! All right, very good Pokemon indeed. No doubt, no doubt. Water type still. We're pretty solid with Kimberly to take on water types. Now, typically in the present day, this would be bad because Azumarill has picked up the fairy typing and we'd be in a bad spot, but... In this gen, we're okay. We're just gonna Dragon Claw, see what it does. Scout, oh, Aqua Ring. It's gonna try and give us a leftovers situation here. Um, that's no big deal. Let's, let's hit it with a crunch. Yeah, lower the defense. That's exactly what I wanted to do. And then it does that, and now we're gonna do Dragon Claw. I honestly did that because I thought it might lower the defense and then he would use full restore. There we go. Rain continues to fall. Reggie Gigas! Oh, slow start. Okay. So we need to hit this thing fast and hard. He's got, we have five turns to knock it out. Oh gosh, this could be bad. This could be bad. We need to knock that thing out. Uh, yeah. Revenge? Okay. Okay. I don't like this. Um, I, okay. Oh no! He confused us. Oh no. All right, this is gonna be quite telling because there's a solid chance. Oh man, I hope he doesn't use full restore. Oh no, oh, this is bad. Okay, this is bad. Um, the slow start is gonna pay off. He's gonna get the full slow start. And that means all of his stats are about to get insane. Um, oh boy. I don't like it. This is bad. We need to try, oh boy. Um, Dragon Claw. That's out of confusion, that's good. Is that headbutt, and then the slow start should be end, right? Oh no, do we make it? <laughs> oh man, that was nerve wracking. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> we are about to have a real problem on our hands. <laughs> Night Slash, couldn't we not learn this like one episode ago? 70, 70. This has dark, high hit crit ratio. So it's just normal versus dark. It's the exact same move. Um, I'm gonna get rid of Slash in favor of Night Slash in memory of Noel, right? Get rid of Slash. Slash doesn't belong on our team. We want Night Slash. Bastiodon! Okay, so what is this? Steel ground, right? It's got some weird typing on it for sure. Very Brock type Pokemon. I'm not sure what, you know, it's a fossil type, so it's not a stuff one. It's probably Rock Steel. Um, which means, oh, which means, yeah, we need to, we need to get out of here with Kimberly. Um, gosh, this is rough. I guess Ace is probably a good shot here because we can just hit it with Surf. Block, okay, we can't escape. Woo, good thing we got out when we could. Let's go there, go Ace, Metal Burst, yeah. Whoa, what is happening? Why did it do so much damage? Well, we... Why did it do so much damage? I am, this is weird. Okay, okay, I don't like the situation because we did what looks to be, I think over half, but it is so close. So if we, and it did over half on us. Uh, so let's do this. We're gonna heal. We're gonna heal. Um, yeah. Iron head. Okay, now I'm feeling a little bit better. Okay. Because if we didn't use Metal Burst again and hit, and we had not, let's see how this surf does. Let's see. Were we safe? I think we would have been, but let's see. Okay, we would have been safe, but man, that was weird. What is Metal Burst and why did it do so much damage? Oh, is this your Ace Brock of Butterfree? Is that why, did you catch it in that patch near town where we got the Metapod? <laughs> Hyper voice. Ah! We scream. Ah! 
That is his ace. Brock's ace is a, is a butterfree. That's really funny. Um, we're just going to keep hyper voicing. Bug Buzz. Ah! It's a pretty strong butterfree. I'll give it that. Ow, wow, 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 wow. That's what he says. And we hyper voice. Boy, he's ah! like, he's like, never, you'll never kill my butterfree. Don't do it, Jay. Ah! We don't care. We scream it. We scream it down. <laughs> And we still don't get the level. Oh man, we're so close to 50. Your Pokemon's powerful attacks overcame my rock hard resistance. You're stronger than I expected. Go ahead, take this badge. Ha ha! Two badges, one episode, y'all. We did it. Amazing. Oh, we got Rock Slide. That's fantastic. Yeah, we picked up Night Slash on Gillen. Oh man, there we go. Another day at the gym, eh, Kim? Mm -hmm. Kimberly seems very happy. Very happy indeed, as well she should be, because we are wrecking stuff. We have just two gyms left. We have to defeat Blaine and Blue. I think they forced you to do Blue last, so probably next time we are heading down to Cinnabar. But uh, what else did we catch? We got the Kabutops just now. That was an insane catch. That's a really good one, because um, it's level 50, which means it's act somehow it's actually stronger and three, me four members of our team. That Kabutops is in, that's yeah, crazy. That's really strong. Um, nonetheless, anyway, it's a pretty good catch. That's all I'm saying, that's all I'm saying. Um, we have six badges. We are looking good. We are about to return to the Elite Four soon enough and then eventually take on Red. Oh boy. If we defeat the Elite Four, who knows? We have a long way to go before we get to that point, don't we, Kim? It's all right. We're gonna keep you safe. Things are gonna go well. Things are gonna be awesome. You're amazing. All right. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment if you haven't already. As you can tell, we're catching lots of new Pokemon every episode. We're in a brand new region, so lots of stuff to catch. Uh, lots of opportunity to have something named after you. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you haven't already and subscribe so you don't miss any future Nuzlocke action from us. But until next time, bye. Hey, before we go, just want to give a shout out to all of our amazing patrons over on Patreon. Abby, Mondin, Adrian, Shishitano, Afropunk, Annalena, Ort, Brad Johnson, Brianna Bouchard, Cheyenne, Dakota Valentine, Dana Guess, Eduardo Bravo, Emerald Phoenix, Gamer Zylia, Gregory Lee, Jacob Rosh, Jade Culture, James Buzanel, Joanna Ashcroft, Karen Choi, The Very Not Lazy, Lacey Nielsen, Lauren Alexandra, Luxpa92, Madison Wolf, Mats Frulis, Momo East, Nicole Cox, Rachel Pierce, Rashiba, Romy Osterheld, Stacy, Yale Ezer, Zane Emerson, and 0412. Thank you all so much for your support on Patreon. If you would like to uh, see your name on the wall of things right here, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Thanks again. Spork.